At the last Hopkins County Fiscal Court hearing, those who wanted to remove the Confederate statue at the old courthouse spoke out. Today, those in favor of keeping the statue got their term. 44 News reporter Marissa Potwa in Madisonville with an update. Good evening, Marissa. Good afternoon, Megan. So what started as a petition earlier this summer to remove the Confederate statue right behind me at the old courthouse is now coming full circle with the magistrate suggesting today that instead of tearing down the statue or moving it someplace else, they actually erect another statue on the other side of the courthouse that represents the Union side of the Civil War. A few dozen people spaced out in the Hopkins County courtroom on Tuesday morning to voice their desire to keep the Confederate statue as a way to preserve history, themselves acknowledging that even if their ancestors were fighting for it may not have been right. But when they heard the idea to construct another statue, many agreed it was a good solution. And Judge Executive Jack Whitfield said he's glad they've come to a compromise that didn't include animosity on either side said from the start that I thought we could use this as a teaching monument uh, to, to learn about the, the past and the atrocities that were committed and the evils of the Civil War in general. So I think we need to, to, to teach people about that so we don't ever go back to something like that. Now, how will these funds be paid for? According to the magistrates, the original Confederate statue was paid for with $300 in taxes. So there was another suggestion to make sure that there was at least $300 for the Union statue. But they don't want any other taxes to be included, so they're looking into making a fundraising committee. Reporting live in Madisonville, Marissa Potwa, 44 News. Thank you, Marissa.